Hey guys, this is Renee and I'm here for some real talk. So, are you all ready to throw out the trash before 2017 comes? Have you thought about which people you want to bring into 2017 and which people you want to leave behind in 2016? What we need to do, as hard as it is, we need to evaluate our friendships, the people that are in our life. Are they good for you? Are they healthy for you to be around? This could be a family member. This could be a best friend. It could be anybody. But are they really good for you? Or are they toxic? Do they bring a lot of drama in your life? These are all things that we need to think about. If you're really serious about wanting a better year, we need to make certain changes in our life in order for that to happen. And if year after year is the same thing over and over and over again for you, and you're not happy, and anytime you wanna do something, there's always someone knocking you down or tugging you back so you can't follow your dreams or follow the things that you wanna do, it's time now, before you enter into 2017, to finally say goodbye to those type of people and remove them from your life. I get you. It's very difficult. I understand that firsthand. I understand how, how hard and how difficult it could be to eliminate somebody from your life. Especially if it's a family member or a very close friend that you've maybe been friends with for like 20 years. But if they don't have your best interest at heart, you don't want to be around these people. Because every time you try to take a step forward, they're pulling you two steps back and you're never going to end up where you want to end up, where you want to be, where your goals are, where you can be happy and live the life that you want to, that you want to live. The people that in your life should only want the best for you. They should lift you up. They should back you up with whatever it is that you want to do. If you're happy, you know, I don't know, doing jumping jacks in the morning a hundred times, they should be happy for you. Or whatever it is. I know that was a silly you know, comment, but, um, but whatever it is, they should back you up and not make fun of it and not say, oh, that's so silly, that's so stupid. Because if you want to do that, that is up to you to do it, not for anybody to tell you, no, you can't do that. And why would you want to be around people that, you know, you'll be walking, you feel like you're walking on eggshells or you get anxiety from being around? Or you find yourself feeling like you're a different person around them. They bring out the worst in you, not the best in you. Because I'm sure when I said that in the beginning of this, this video, who are you going to leave in 2016, I'm sure a few names or at least one name came to mind when I said that on who should stay in 2016. Because I think you know who is holding you down. And this is a time for you to finally move forward in your life. It's time to take the trash out once and for all. Leave all the toxic people behind you in 2016. Leave the trash in 2016. Leave, leave the past in 2016. Leave the drama in 2016, right? Leave the exes in 2016 and only bring the positive people with you into 2017. 
And you know which people I'm referring to. Whereas whenever you say to this person um, that you're doing something, like say for instance, you haven't been feeling well and you've been eating healthy and that's been making you feel better. And then they're immediately say, oh, you only live once. Here's some cake, eat the whole cake, have some ice cream in the freezer. You don't want these type of people in your life that when you, that don't have any respect for you. They should respect you and say, oh, well, you know, she's doing something good for herself. She's watching what she's eating because it's making her feel better. Don't throw things in her face for her to eat cake and ice cream. That's not something you do. That's not being supportive of you. Being supportive of you would say, you know what? I have some fruit in the refrigerator. Instead of taking out the ice cream and the cake, this is just one example. There could be zillions of, of different, um, you know, examples. And I'm sure you're all aware of what people are toxic in your life. And I know it's very difficult if you have family members. I know how hard it is. Not everybody's blessed um, with a great family. You know, I am so blessed that I have a great family. Um, that are not toxic, that they actually lift you up and they back you up 100%. And I'm grateful for that. But I know there's a lot of people out there that have a toxic family, a toxic mom or a toxic dad or to toxic sisters, brothers, cousins, you know, aunts, uncles. And I know it could be hard to actually elim fully eliminate these people from your life because they're your family. But try your best to keep them arms distance away because those type of people that are toxic only want to bring you down. They don't want to lift you up because for some sick reason, they feel better when you're miserable. And I don't get that, but there are sick people out there that do, that do that. So in 2017, I know I only want to be around positive people. So anybody negative, I'm leaving back in 2016. I'm throwing the trash out once and for all. And I'm going to move forward because there's so many things in 2017 that I want to accomplish. And I'm not going to be able to accomplish it if they're in my life. Constantly knocking me down. Constantly saying, oh, that's silly to do that. Or, oh, you can't do that. Or no one cares if, you, you know, nobody wants to hear that. Or, or nobody, you know, that's a stupid idea. You get my point. Because if, if you're not going to be on my side, I don't want you in my life. And I know it's difficult, but what's more important? Are you more important or are they more important? You could finally be happy and live the life that you want and the life that you deserve. Go after your dreams, whatever it might be. But the only way you'll be able to do it is if you finally get rid of the toxic people in your life. And this is the best time to do it. A new year is approaching. So let's say goodbye to all the toxic people in our life and let's finally move forward. 2017 can be a great year for you. The only person that can make this a great year for you is you. So it's up to you. Are you going to continue doing what you've been doing over the last few years over and over and your life's not changing? You know, you have anxiety, you know, being around certain people, you might be sick around certain people, whatever it is. Are you finally, you know, ready to be free from that? Are you finally able to move on? Well, now's your chance. Let's do this together. Let's go into 2017 with positive people only. Let's throw the trash away. And let's not look back, let's look forward. Everyone, comment below and let me know, is there people that you're gonna leave back in 2016? Or are you bringing them with you in 2017? Well, all of you have a great rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow.